friends my name is Samad and in today's video I'm going to teach you that how you can set up your custom email into the Gmail for absolutely free without using a G Suite. Google has recently launched the G Suite for developers and programmers to set up their emails, mail client, calendars, Google drives and web hosting using the Gmail. But we are going to use only email from our Gmail for free. You can also send and receive email using your custom website email from here. So let's check out an example that I am using my custom email into the Gmail for absolutely free. So go to the compose section here and you will see that my all the emails are being listed here from the drop down and the best thing is that you can also use it from your uh, Android or iOS application using the gmail official application and you can also go to the compose section from there and select the email of your desire that which email you want to send the email and if you receive the email into these e emails account so it will automatically gets into your gmail pop-up or into your application using android or ios so whatever you are using so uh, we are going to select the uh, we are going to test both the emails that our gmail to mail client and then mail client to gmail account so going for the gmail to mail client now so i'm selecting the mail address and it, this would be the test email and the subject and this would be hello world so now send out the email go back and refresh and you will see here here is our email now so it is being sent from the gmail to my mail client that is my custom email so i'm now going to send the email from my the custom email to my gmail and let's see what happens and here we go we have received the email from my custom email to my official gmail account so how you can do so so for doing this you need a website so this is a must thing that you need a dot com website or any other free website so for doing so you can get your free domain by going to the mc.com.pk a website hosting company from where you can get a free hosting with 100% uptime server in Pakistan so their packages are not as much high so anyone can easily purchase his or her portfolio or business website in no time and, and they are also a designing company so they can design your website as well so how you can purchase your domain so for doing so you need to go to the domains and from here you need to type out your domain that would be a testing domain so going to select this one and just search out the domain and it will show you a price that would be 1240 PKR. So going to select an year, whatever year you want, and then select out the email. They will send you uh, billing details, and all you need to do, you can also pay using uh, Easy Pesa bank transfer or whatever you want, and get your domain in 24 hours. So this is the best way to purchasing your domain in in Pakistan, and as it is a Pakistan hosting company, so you can also contact them using their mobile numbers and contact information uh, as shown to the front page that is here here is their mobile number and their official email so you can uh, easily contact them as well so after purchasing your website from them or any other server or any other web hosting company you need a cpanel so how you can get into your cpanel that would be your domain.com slash cpanel so after logging into your cpanel this type of home page will appear on your screen so you will need to log in to the web client that would be your email accounts so go to the email accounts section and from here you can create a new email ac account that would be your own so i'm going to make a test at the rate of summit ikadeji.com and then your password would be here and then the stent and the quota of your email account that how many space would this email account takes so you can also select the information from here so we are going not making an email account here 
because I have already made my two emails for testing and you can see from here none of my email is using a 1% of space so this is because I have transferred my domain to the Gmail and the whole the space is being used by the Gmail itself so this would be the best function for doing this so uh, I'm going to make this email into my Gmail because my this email is already uh, working with the Gmail so what we do now go back to your Gmail account and go to the uh, settings and then account and import so from here you can see that my emails are being listed here so if you are going to add another gmail account into your this gmail account and you want to send and receive mail using the gmail ac account so there are two ways you can grant access to your gmail account from your old one to your new one so go back to your old one ac account and get into this page and set uh, another account and give your access account to this one so it would display like this that I have given the access to my gmail account this one and from the old gmail you can see that my all the old email gmails emails are being listed here so but we are going to insert custom email so for doing so go to the settings area and uh, accounts and import and you need to insert a new account so if you are going to add another gmail account so this process would be same that you need to insert your gmail account and then use a gmify option and select your gmail password and that's done now your email would be here so for doing for inserting a website email you need uh, some couple of information to be inserted here so for doing so we are going to insert this email into our gmail so now you need to insert some, some sm TP server information the, the port name the username the password and the secure connection type so from where you can get all this information so go back to your website cpanel and from here go to the setup mail client option here are your mail client information that would be your server your username your password your port information your redirect links and all the information you can also set up uh, email forwarding and receiving email auto response and other options you can see my this email brief video from the link in the video description so from here we are going to use a server link so this would be our incoming server and outgoing server so, so the, both the address are the same so we are going to copy this address and go back to your gmail and go to the client information area and from here type out the server name and from the username you need to type out your email that would be your username and the password would be that password you have inserted when you are going to create your custom email account so we are going to insert that password here so after doing all this information you need to insert a port name from where you can get the port name go back to your cpanel information and here is your port name that is 465 so go back to the gmail and from here select the 465 as your port name and then add account now you need to insert the specification confirmation code that would be sent into your gmail mail section area so you need to go back to your email accounts and then go to the web access web mail address of your website cpanel because you have no access to access your email from different clients or from gmail unless you enter the code so here is our verification code that is being sent from the gmail so this is the code copy out the code go back to your uh, gmail and then account verification area and insert the code and then verify it that's all done now we have inserted our email into to the gmail and now you can send and receive email using this email so let's test it out go to the compose section and select the mail as mail at the rate of summer courtesy and select the client mail as developer at the rate of summer .com. this would be the test email and this would be hello now send the email 
and you can see here the one mail is on pending and when you refresh the page and here is our email that is sent from the mail section and to this one so we are going to send now from using a developer's email and to our gmail and now hello world and this would be again hello world and now send the email and here is the email now you can check out the details so in this way you can send and receive emails using your custom website email so if you are not familiar with this process so this would be very helpful for you to manage your email accounts using your gmail because if you are using a custom website email so you need to get into the same panel and then email accounts and then go to the access web mail and from where from there you can check out your mails or you can send out your mail so this is the very easy process and you can also use android and ios gmail official application and from there you can send and receive email using your custom emails so this process is very helpful hope so you will like my tutorial do subscribe to my channel and thumbs up for this video if you like it and if you have any issue regarding this tutorial you can comment in the below comment section you, you can also check out my more videos so you can do more with coding apps and tutorials